I'm Bella, that was the name of the most famous swindler in the USSR, who became one of the victims of the Andropov purges, the future unofficial queen of Jalanjik, Bella Borkina, moved to Odessa after the war, and after an unsuccessful marriage in 1951, she left for Jalanjik, finding a job as a waitress in a local cafe. The persistent woman moved up very quickly, first becoming a bomb aide, and soon the head of the cafe. It was Bordkina who came up with the schemes for deceiving visitors that are considered classic in Russia today. For example, she personally taught cooks to add bread instead of meat. The meat saved in this way was sold by the shish kebab. According to investigators, this scheme alone brought the enterprising woman more than 80,000 rubles, which is almost $130,000 at that time, or more than a million dollars today. For you to understand, the average price of a two-room apartment was at the level of 10,000 rubles. The next scheme is saving on tea brewing, instead of which caramelized sugar was added to give color. The third scheme is to reduce the prescribed portions of butter by half. Next, the classic dilution of sour cream and milk with water. True fearing trouble, Borkina ordered to dilute exclusively with boiled water. Soon Bella assembled a team that put into practice everything that she had been taught, and daily gave part of what she earned to her patroness. By the way, Bordkina did not even try to hide her wealth. She adored furs, bright jewelry, and was fond of young men, whom she presented more than generously for pleasant services. Residents of Jalanjik nicknamed Borkin Shahinia, and close acquaintances Sim Bella. Already in 1974, Bella headed the trust of Jalanjik restaurants and canteens, becoming the sovereign mistress of the city catering. By the way, Bella mercilessly destroyed private traders who tried to feed their guests with homemade food. She sent her agents, who, having settled in a date, pretended to be poisoned, then complained to the sanitation station and other law enforcement agencies. In Jalanjik, no one even tried to speak out against Bella, especially since Bordkina quickly fed all the police chiefs and even high party officials with her offerings. Being the head of the trust, Borikina came up with another scheme of theft dilution of alcohol. For example, cognac was diluted with rye vodka. Coupled with the elementary miscalculations of drunken clients, the alcohol scheme turned out to be extremely profitable. But if serious officials came to the city, Bella had scarce food packages and luxuriously set tables with an exclusive menu and elite alcohol, and Borkina pierced into trifles. The woman organized underground screenings of porn films for her clients, for which she paid the price. Some caring citizen complained to the relevant authorities which in 1981 covered the underground cinema and seriously began to develop Bordkina herself. The very first search in Iron Bella's apartment shocked the operatives. In addition to expensive items of clothing, furniture and full jewelry boxes, banks of money were found. In total, money and jewelry from Bella were seized in the amount of about half a million rubles. According to the official exchange rate of that time almost 700,000 US dollars, in the pretrial detention center, Bordkina behaved calmly, expecting help from her high patrons. Realizing that there would be no support, Bordkina still hoped that she would be left alive. Sentenced to a maximum sentence of 20 years with confiscation of property, 
Therefore, the decision of the Supreme Measure Court shocked her. The death sentence was carried out in August 1983. The request of Borodkina's daughter to give the body for burial was denied.